All right, joined now by my guy, Mike Reese. You're fired up, Steve. I am That fired. first down at the start of the show, that was a Drake May first down. Hopefully he we'll, is ready. Hopefully we'll see a lot of him on, on, on Sunday, Mike. That's the hope, Steve, uh, you know, that he can spark mm -hmm. them. You know, I think in the perfect world, Steve, they would have waited a little bit longer if they had their way, but four straight losses. They're averaging 12.4 points per game, which is second to last in the league. Right. They're the lowest uh, in the league in terms of passing yardage per game. And so I think the way Gerard Mayo looks at it is, it's not just because of the quarterback, but the quarterback touches the ball, Steve, on every, every play. play. And every maybe, play. maybe Drake can elevate the offensive line. And maybe Drake can elevate the receivers. We'll see. It's, it's, a, it's asking a lot. You were down there today, and you had a chance to talk to the, yeah. Drake May's teammates. And yeah. I think they're excited. You know, they're excited to see, you know, what May can do. So, because what he does is move around. Mm -hmm. and he's got the mobility. So, Kendrick Bourne, the veteran receiver, was joking around, Steve. And he said, uh, I think Drake could beat me in a 40-yard dash. And, um, you know, and the joke, of course, Steve, is that Drake might be running around quite a bit based on the protection that the quarterbacks have received. You hope that's not the case. Right. But I think the ability to move around, create a little extra time, give receivers more time right. to get open, help your linemen that they don't have to block as long because he can make plays out of the pocket. Maybe there's some magic there. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot. Let's do it. All right. If Jalen Polk catches that ball yes. in bounds, yes. is there a quarterback change? I don't think there is, Steve. I, I agree with you, I don't you, Mike. think there is. I don't I think, think there is either. I think if, if Polk catches a ball and the defense would have held in that game and they beat the Dolphins, I think it's still Jacoby Brissett. That's why I think this is so fascinating, Steve. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's cut and dried. You know, I think you could have stayed with Jacoby Brissett this week and said, we're going to wait another week or two. Um, but four straight losses, need to get it going. Yeah, that's why I think you make the change. How do you think Jacoby took the news? So I, I saw him in the locker room today. Yeah. And I went up to him and just said, how are you doing? And he said, well, I'm going to talk to everyone tomorrow. So we'll hear from him on Thursday, wow. Steve. And he said, um, I've had better days, but I've had worse days. So I think that's the perspective. The ultimate of teammate. The of the veteran. And, you know, the fact that he was in the room and he didn't talk today, Steve. He knew that it was on Drake's a day like today, it's Drake's, Drake's day. 